Hello children again. Today's math story is called Oliver's Vegetables and it's by Vivian French, illustrated by Alison Bartlett. And the blurb on the back is very good because it's, it's a summary of the story. It says, do you like chips? Oliver won't eat anything else until he plays a game with his grandpa. Whatever vegetable Oliver finds in the garden, he must eat. Mm. So let's have a look at Oliver's vegetables. OK, we'll look at the pictures. I like the way the artist has painted the pictures. Finish up, Oliver, said his mum, or we'll miss the bus. Can't we walk to Grandpa's house, asked Oliver. No, said his mother, it's too far. Hurry up. And I can see that Oliver is eating chips. The best thing about Grandpa's house was the wonderful garden. I grow all my own vegetables, Grandpa said proudly. And you can see the vegetables all here growing in rows. I don't eat vegetables, Oliver told Grandpa. I only eat chips. If you want chips, said Grandpa, you must find the potatoes. If you find something else, you eat that and no complaints. Is it a bargain? Oh, look, they're shaking hands because it's a bargain. Shaking hands. If he finds something else growing and he pulls that or picks that, then he has to eat that. Oliver ran round the garden, but he couldn't see any potatoes. Hmm, I wonder why that is. They must be hiding, he said, and pulled at the nearest leaves. Carrots, said Grandpa, just the thing for Monday lunch. Oliver ate his first carrots for lunch. Oliver took a long time making up his mind on Tuesday. Gran and Grandpa came to watch him. Those crinkly leaves are pretty, he said at last. Are the potatoes there? Spinach, said Grandpa. They had spinach for supper. That was good, said Oliver. Well, he is trying new things, isn't he? On Wednesday, Oliver got up early. Potatoes are very important, he said, so they must have big leaves. Here they are, Grandpa smiled. That's rhubarb. They had rhubarb pie that evening. That was very good, said Oliver. It rained on Thursday. When it stopped, Oliver hurried outside. Have you found the potatoes? Grandpa asked. No, said Oliver. I found slugs and snails. Are they eating my potatoes? Grandpa shook his head. That's cabbage. Oliver had two helpings. Very, very good, he said. On Friday, Oliver was sure he had found the potatoes. When he pulled at the leaves, up came some beetroot. That night, Oliver ate all of his beetroot salad. Very, very, very good, he said. Mm, three berries for the beetroot. On Saturday, Oliver played football. The ball landed in a tangle of sticks and leaves. Oliver was sure the potatoes weren't there and Grandpa nodded. Peas, he said. Oliver had three helpings of pea soup that evening. Was that good, asked Grandpa? No, said Oliver. It was delicious. Well, there's the peas growing in the pods. Oliver rushed into the garden on Sunday. Here they are. How did you know? asked Grandpa. They're the only thing left, said Oliver. And can you see Grandpa is digging the potatoes? So the potatoes are actually under the ground. That's why Oliver couldn't find them. He couldn't see them. Can we have chips now? Oliver asked. You scrub the potatoes, said Gran, and I'll peel them. Grandpa can cut them up. Oliver, Gran and Grandpa sat down to eat. 
The door opened and in walked Oliver's mother. She saw the plate of chips. Oh dear, I did hope Oliver would eat something different while he was here, she said. Oliver and Grandpa looked at each other. His mother stared as they laughed and laughed and laughed. I like that last page that just shows rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and rows and, rows and vegetables. Okay, that's the end of the story. And we're going to listen to some maths ideas later and look at the PowerPoint and find out some lovely things you can do. And well done for trying. Bye.